In a pitching matchup, Candiotti against the former Dodger, Tim Belcher. Billy Dora in the shot, but Brett Butler with the nice grab. Bottom of the fifth scoreless game, Jose Opperman on first. The sacrifice, now Belcher will tag him out. Opperman hustles to third. A big, big play because the next man up, Brett Butler, base hit to shallow left. Opperman scores, it's the only run of the game. Two batters later, runners at first and third. A gamble by Reggie Sanders. The fly ball by Daniels. Do you let it go? Or do you position? Do you throw? It's Brett Butler running. Look at the throw by Sanders. Oliver tags him out. Top of the ninth, one nothing Dodgers. Candiotti going the route. Induces Hal Morris to fly to Javier and left. Tom Candiotti, the six hit shutout over Tim Belcher. Bat, 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 bat. It's bat day. No, it's back, 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 back. It's back day. Down welcome Mattingly. Home run number seven. Yankees lead it two to one. Next man up in the third inning, Roberto Kelly. And he does the same thing. Sends Rob Deere to the fence. The ball is beyond. Three to one, Yanks. Two on in the third inning. Mickey Tennelson pops it and doesn't come through. But with the bases loaded in the fifth, sends it way back to right. Way back. Way back. It's gone. Grand slam. The Tigers lead 5 4, but in the bottom of the fifth. Walt Terrell pitching. Jim Frito Lairitz goes down and gets it and deposits it over the wall. The Yankees win it 6 to 5. These are the Angels. Molitor up and the pop up. Gonzalez, DeSarcinia, and Soho. Uh. And it's going to go as a line drive double. Safe with a double as Molitor. This is going to go as a line drive homer. Dante's Inferno Bichette. 10 to 3 Brewers. Langston's long gone that shot off Scott Bale. Behind Daryl Hamilton. John Shulock warns everyone. Next man up is Scott Fletcher. Shulock says, you're gone. To the catcher Fitzgerald, you're gone. And here comes John Watson. Wait a minute, what do you mean? Hey, guess what, John? It's the hat trick. You're gone. And the Angels are gone. They've lost seven. Because in part, it's a pretty good defense right here. Gil Heredia, the pitcher, lines at the center, but Dave Martinez extends himself. Nice backhanded stab. Martinez is opposite number. Darren Lewis, the home run hitter, robbing Joe Oliver here. He go back and makes a nice running catch near the warning track. Thrilling one zip, Pinella says, why didn't someone hit a long ball? Chris Sabo responds, goes down and gets the low pitch. His fourth of the year, wraps it around the foul pole. Later, Sabo added an RBI single. The big guy, Cecil Fielder, and he rips this. This is a Carl Lewis shot. It gets out in a hurry. Home run number 11, and the Tigers on top of the Indians, 3 to nothing. Top of the sixth, it was 8 to nothing. Detroit, John Doherty hits Glenn Allen Hill. And Drew Coble tells Mike Hargrove to keep his team under control because with a score like this and actions like that, you know it's going to get out of control. Next pitch at the head of Sandy Alomar Jr., and here he comes, charging the mound. Kicks at Doherty, and everybody out to get into it. It's worth another look as Alomar looks like uh, Steven Seagal on that. And watch uh, number 39, Dennis Cook. This is a real bold move on his part as they pile up here. He leaps it like Richard Simmons, sweating to the oldies. And in here, look for Sparky Anderson telling Eric. He wants a piece of, of big Eric Plunk ready to take him on. Second, Sean Bosky with a base hit to center. Ray Langford scoops it up. Scott is headed home on the throw. He is out of there. Scoreless into the sixth inning. Chicago's leadoff batter, the pitcher Jim Bollinger. It's up there. It's out there. His first major league home run at his first major league at bat. He was an infielder for Ron Maestri and Tom Schwanner at the University of New Orleans and a big time hit there. Tied into the extra innings. We're in the 13th. Jose Vizcaino, the ex-Dodger, singles with Gary Scott on base. Scott will score this time. The Cubs add to it, go on to win it. Throws more on him later, but they wouldn't need much relief. Tim Leary pitched well, but made one big mistake. This pitch in the second to Candy Maldonado. That is only the sixth time anyone has reached the center field bleachers since they reconfigured Yankee Stadium. 451 feet. That's one of the top five longest home runs of the season. But Maldonado wasn't through. He ripped this blast in the left field corner. Mel Hall corners it, and here comes John Olerud. Stankowitz, the relay. But Olerud beats it before Noakes throws out.
Maldonado with third, but he got the job done, breaking a one all time, giving Juan Guzman the lead. And Guzman was sharp. Great pitch there. Deion James had no chance. Through seven, he struck out six and allowed one run. Major League start in the top of the fifth. Their appearance with the bases loaded, hitting Willie Randolph. That brings home Schofield. The Mets have a two to one lead. In the bottom of the eighth, John Franco on in relief. Good and left with a 5 3 advantage. And Franco couldn't hold it for him. Wallach gets it back up through the middle. Larry Walker's around to score. The Expos add another run and tie it as Doc loses a chance for the victory. Top of the ninth, bases loaded. Chico Walker singling to right to score Johnson for the go-ahead run. The Mets have the advantage. Then the Expos, bottom of the ninth, threatening with Delano to Shields. Franco gets him to hit into the tough double play as Franco and the Mets pull it out. 6-5, Franco blew the uh, save for the first. Grayback appears to hit into a 4-6-3 double play, but Joe West says Bell didn't tag second. And Bell argues it's worth another look. It's tough to tell. Jim Leland, the umpire's best friend, comes out, does not swing the call. Bottom of the sixth, Jeff King looks like he hits into the fielder's choice, but uh, Joe West says that Dale Swain was not at second. He argues, take another look at this one. And as Fergosi continues to argue, West tells him, you, you're not in the game anymore. Bottom of the eighth, Bob Patterson facing Lenny Dykstra. Van Slyke, who had put the Pirates ahead with a two-run double, hauls in this big-time catch to help the Bucks to the 5-3 to three win. Despite Joe at four, two on, Felix Jose to right off Jeff Robinson. Ozzie Smith comes around. Andre Dawson's throw not in time. Cards have a 5-4 to four lead. Top of the eighth, runners at first and third. Derek May grounds to Ozzy, who catches Dawson off third and finally gets him out. So the cards hanging on 5-4. The Cubs would get another chance. Top of the ninth, two out. Jose Vizcaino singling off Lee Smith, who couldn't close the door. Sammy Sosa is in there to tie it at five. Extra innings again. Bottom of the 11th, Todd Zeal off Bob Scanlon. And that'll drive Ozzy Smith home with the winning run. As Carpenter beats Scanlon, Reggie Sanders swinging. Rigetti retires the first nine men he faced in the top of the fourth. Already 1-0 Cincinnati. Larkins at third. Sanders up there, and this time takes Rigetti with a single to left. That made it 2 to nothing. Rigetti out of there. The Giants come back to tie it at two in the ninth inning. Bill Doran up with Hal Morris on and delivers down the right field line the game-winning double as Hal Morris is in to score it the Reds one to nothing in the first and this pitch gets away from Sosha Ron Gant is in to make it two to nothing Braves it was two to one in the second men on the corners Brett Butler with a two-out grounder Belliard knocks down gets knocked down and Sosha ties the game then two out in the eighth Cal Daniels from Northside High School in Warner Robins Georgia the Home run to win it. His second of the year came off Mike Stanton. Roger.